In today's lecture, I'm going to explain what IT service management is and how you and your organization can benefit from it. So what is IT service management? Information technology service management refers to the processes that an organization follows to design, plan, deliver, operate and control the IT services that are offered to its end users. IT service management is also commonly referred to as ITSM, so you'll often hear that acronym. The main focus of ITSM is to provide and deliver consistent IT services to its end users. Have you ever requested a new laptop at work? Or maybe you have reported an internet outage while at the office? All of these examples relate to services that an IT organization manages and delivers to its end users. So what are some of the common ITSM processes? The most common ITSM processes are Incident management. This process deals with the management of IT issues that are affecting IT services. An example of an incident could be that the Wi-Fi is down within an office building. Incident management deals with the support and resolution of incidents, ensuring that IT services are up and running smoothly. Service request management. This process deals with fulfilling IT requests, whether it's for hardware, software, or access to a network drive. All of these are good examples of typical service requests. Problem management. This process deals with identifying and managing the underlying causes behind incidents. The problem management process is usually carried out alongside the incident management process. Problem management also includes root cause analysis, which is the process of identifying and resolving the root cause of a problem. Change management. This process deals with the planning, tracking and rolling out of IT changes across an organisation. Change management allows IT organisations to properly plan for the implementation of IT changes whilst assessing the potential risks. An example of a change could be upgrading a SQL database to the latest version. If the upgrade fails, then one or more IT services will most likely be affected. This is an example of a common change request. Now that we've covered what IT service management is and the common processes, let's talk about the benefits it provides an organization. The benefits of IT service management. With an effective ITSM practice in place, organizations can benefit from reduced service outages. With a robust ITSM practice in place, the IT service desk team are able to detect and resolve issues before they affect IT services. This type of proactiveness is essential for maintaining smooth IT operations. Improved efficiency across the IT organization. When an organization has adopted and implemented an ITSM practice, they're able to be more efficient in the way that they operate, thus saving the organization any unwanted downtime. Reduced unnecessary spend. With an effective ITSM practice in place, organizations are able to avoid unnecessary spend. Take for example an end user requests a laptop and the IT team doesn't track their assets. When the request comes in, no one is sure if there are any laptops available, so the IT service desk purchases a new laptop for the end user. Later on, they found out that they have several laptops available in stock, which they could have used to fulfill the request. This is a good example of why an ITSM practice can help reduce unneeded expenditures. Enhanced service and customer experience. With a defined ITSM practice in place, IT organizations can provide a reliable, consistent, and quality service to its end users, thus creating a positive customer experience for all members of an organization.